And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. A great night for baseball ahead on the show. It's the San Francisco Giants taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. First pitch coming at you right after the break. So just about set now. Today's starting pitcher, number 80. He may not dominate, but he always keeps the club in the game. If you can score runs, you have a really good chance to win with him on the mound today. Okay, all set to go. And here's the first baseman, Lamont Wade Jr. Lamont Wade Jr. The 3-1. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Now this was a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've Lead seen him give up walks position. in the past, and it's an issue once again early yeah. on. Here's Jack Peterson, the 1-1. One -one. And that's in for a strike. Right-hander kicks deals. That misses the zone. Two balls, two strikes. See how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because. Jumps, but it's off his glove. Goes to second, oh, safe there. Tyro Estrada to the plate. In the dirt. Nothing happening on the bases, though. The pitch. There's a strike. And now it's filled up. Michael Conforto waits to bat for the Giants. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there, or for the ump to help him out and make a call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. The batter will be Michael Conforto. A strikeout. And you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up, something, but you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. Got him. Huge strike out there. Frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. And now it's Wilmer Flores and a pitch. Bounced up the middle. Diving, and he can't make the play. One runs in. He's in there. It's 2-0. Nicely done. Brings home two. And once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. And here is Patrick Bailey. And yeah, that's outside. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. In the air, left side. And he makes the catch. Runner tags from third. Throw home, not in time, the run scores. And they're up by three. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Upstairs. Mike Yastrzemski originally drafted by the Orioles. 14th round out of Vanderbilt in 2013. The Giants got him in March of 2019. And San Francisco's really where he got a shot to play. 
Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. 3-2. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. Here's the center fielder, Luis Matos. And here it comes. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Swing and a miss. Slider got him for strike three. Three runs for him here, and they move ahead. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Giants three, and the Dodgers nothing. Back here in L.A. And on the hill for the Giants, Johnny Brevia. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? Well, he's a guy that needs to establish himself. Just settle in that first time through the order. Be able to command your first pitch, maybe a secondary pitch, and not show too much. That will allow you to get through the order a couple of times before having to turn it over to the bullpen in those middle innings. They're looking for this guy to get through the lineup a couple of times at least, limit some damage, and just keep him in this ballgame. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Now one away. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and still laid on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the oh. off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. The wind and the pitch. And Play another ball. ball. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, that's a really good take right there, and that's just mentally prepared, knowing that if it's that not on a tee, you're going to take that pitch it. because you still have one more strike to work with. Not easy to lay off, but he did an excellent job in that plate appearance. The batter now will be Will Smith. The pitch. Gets a piece. And stays alive. Ground ball left side. And it stays fair. Freeman headed for third. Lead runner holds at third. So two runners in scoring position. And just one out. Good two strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. Nice job keeping it fair as he turned on it down the line, and once it got through the infield, it was a double all the way. Now it's J.D. Martinez. And the pitch stays alive. The next offering misses. Two and two. Got him swinging. No need to deviate from the slider right there. The hitter just not making the adjustment. He came at him with the breaking ball pitch after pitch in that at bat, and evidently there was no answer for it. David Peralta at the plate. Off the mark there. Now two balls and a strike. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Two outs. Two in scoring position. And down on strikes. Snap throw. Dodgers strand a couple. They trail in this one 3 nothing.
in the ashtray. Grab the pen and pad with my right hand. Begin to slay a man. You don't understand the grand scheme of this battle rap. Back here at Dodger Stadium. Second inning, set to go. Here's Brandon Crawford. Crawford. Brandon Crawford, a kid who grew up a Giants fan. His dad had season tickets at Candlestick Park, and then at, what was it initially? Pac Bell Park. Broken bat, and it's popped up. Taylor balls it in, and there's one away. Now batting the first baseman, Lamont Wade Jr. Back to the leadoff spot in the Giants lineup. So here's Wade now. The walk and a run scored his first time. Pitch misses inside, and it's two and one. One down, base is empty. Fouls one off, two and two. The pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The pitch. Struck him out looking. In your system. Two outs, base is empty. Next will be the Giants DH. Jock Peterson reached on an infield single his first time. Line drive, that's a base hit out of the left center field. He was all over that one. I'll tell you, man, it's such a good Tyrone. feeling when you smoke it's a line fun. drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. Next to hit, Tyro Estrada. Here's a 2 1. Yeah, that's a little bit high. At the belt and fires. Fouls one away and now three and two. That one ripped. Peralta going back, back some more, back some more. Banks off the wall. Across is the runner from first, and it's 4 nothing. Well done, drives in the run. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation under it, and it carries over, but that's a swing you'll be happy with every time. Runner at second, two down. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Smith settles under it and makes the catch. And that is the third out of the inning. A run on two hits, and they leave one. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Giants four, and the Dodgers nothing. And welcome back. Bottom half of inning number two. Now it's the second baseman, Miguel Vargas. Next pitch is downstairs.
Line drive, caught! Man, he really turned on that one. Absolutely ripped it towards third, but quick cat-like reflexes down there at the hot corner to bring it down. Chris Taylor now. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field, but he can jump you if you make a mistake. The next pitch misses, and that's ball three. That one fouled hard the other way. Three, two. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. And puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. And now the center fielder, Johnny DeLuca. The 1-1. One -one. And fouled off. This to center field. Matos in position and puts the squeeze on that. And that's the inning. Dodgers go down quietly. They trail it here for nothing. Welcome back. Top half of the third inning. And now Wilmer Flores. The third baseman. Well, he's back out here for the third. And after the first couple of innings, pretty rough. I think the skipper is looking for him to give him a little bit of length, see if he can save the bullpen some. Bullpen activity starting up now. Shelby Miller preparing to come on if needed. Gonzalez, the lefty, warming up as well. The 2-1. Now a check swing, but he held up. Three. Swings and misses, and we're filled up. Bounce to third, and that's just foul. And the righty deals. Lined, and that's a base hit. Up next to the Giants, the catcher. Patrick. Tough game for him so far, Boog. Another hit, and they've just been knocking him around through the first two plus. He's got to get things back on track, maybe junk a pitch that isn't working, or he might not last much longer. So, a man aboard. Patrick Bailey digs in now. Drove in a run with a sack fly his first time up. Swing and a miss. Slider right there. Nobody out. Runner at first. And a swing and a miss. And there's one away. Man at first. Mike Yastrzemski up here. Swing and a miss. Now one and two. Do that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. The one one is fouled off. And a one two. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Peralta settles underneath it. Makes the grab for the second out. Now batting the center fielder, Luis. Luis Matos, Matos the next giant to hit.
kicks and deals. Tapped softly on the ground. They get the oh. force. Third out, and that ends the frame. So the Giants leave one. They lead 4 0. Back here at Chavez Ravine, set for the bottom of the third. Now it's the shortstop, Miguel Rojas. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Here's Mookie Betts. Struck out swinging his first time. Next pitch is inside. And now it's three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Got him. And now two gone. Two strikes. Many times hitters looking out over the plate. When you're looking out over the plate, you're also going to let the ball travel a little bit longer. And a fastball zipped on the inside corner just locks you up. Out to short. In there safely. The effort was there with the jump throw. You got to love it, but it just wasn't in time. Still a really impressive play just to get to that ball and make it close at first. And not every shortstop can even make that play. On the ground. Flores on the first. That's the third out. Inning over. So the Dodgers leave one. They're down 4-0. Welcome back, and now on the mound to start the fourth, Shelby Miller. They know that he can get a right-hander out, but he's in position to face a couple of lefties this inning. Here's Crawford now, open stance on that left side. He popped out his first time. Brandon Crawford, a player who has been a stalwart at shortstop for the San Francisco Giants, helped them win World Series in 2012 and 2014. And he comes from a line of Giants fans. His parents, Mike and Lynn, they had Giants season tickets. They took Brandon to games all the time growing up. Next pitch is outside. Yeah, Bay Area kid who loved his San Francisco Giants and so cool that he was able to establish a career with this team. Got to the big leagues pretty quickly, called up a little bit early, and never went back down again. Crawford has played the most games at shortstop in Giants history. You can make a pretty good case he's the best shortstop in the history of the franchise. Here's a 1-1. No, that's a ball. Two balls, one strike. There's a strike, 95 of that one. Next offering is downstairs. and misses it's a strikeout Belly showed a lot of conviction with the fastball there not just because of the velocity but also the ability to command it on the inside part of the plate the last thing you want to do with two strikes is just get too far in there and it gets away and it hits the batter so when I see a two strike fastball bunch up a guy like that it tells me there's a lot of confidence in that pitch the one one is fouled off he's a little out front but did a good job keeping the hands back long enough to foul that pitch off The one two swing and a miss struck him out again snaps it down to first definitely made him chase a little bit out of his own right there I don't think that's a strike if he takes it pretty textbook pitching get ahead in the count get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. The two one. And that's in for a strike. Two balls, two strikes. Yeah. 
And he deals. Check swing, tried to hold up, now an appeal to first. And yes, he did. James Kingsley rings him up. One left for San Francisco, but they lead it four to nothing. Back here in LA, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's JD Martinez. JD Martinez is the first guy that I remember seeing videotaping his own batting practice so that he could go back inside and look at the video. You know, these Dodgers, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. And at the plate for the Dodgers, David Peralta. Next one misses. And that's ball two. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. Left-hand hitter waits. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Makes the catch, and there's two away. Miguel Vargas steps to the plate for the Dodgers. He's 0 for 1. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Nothing doing for the Dodgers. Back here at the ballpark, all set for the start of the inning. Now the left fielder, Michael Conforto. The 2-1. That one missing inside. All these Giants putting together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. It looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early, get him out of the game before he settles in. So I'd say mission accomplished. Kicks and fires. Out towards left center. Peralta giving chase. Hops over the wall, and that's an automatic double. The automatic double kind of feels like enjoying cruise control in your car, boo. You don't need to keep the pedal down as you cruise into second base. Just left field, way back there. And it hits the fence. The run comes in from second. It's 5-0. Not in time. He's got a double. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Now at the plate, Patrick Bailey. Next pitch misses inside. And it's two and one. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Tries to back pick him at second. Stayed with the fastball on all three pitches to put him away. Yeah, just straight attacked him. And those locations of the fastball is what really stood out to me, Book. Started him inside. Really good location. Then he went away for strike two. That's a base hit. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners with one out. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. In there at the knees. And the count, one and two. The pitch. That one missed. Bounced out to short. Nice stop. The throw. Rojas. Tossed the second. On to first. Safe. 
So they get one, but a really nice try there. Just a beautiful play right there to get it out. He dives to make the stop. Then a nice feed from his knees. Knew he didn't have time to get up and make that throw. The throw beats the runner. That's that internal clock working. That's a base hit. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Everything came together for him. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. Here's Lamont Wade Jr. Next offering is fouled back. Next one just misses. And the count's full. First and second, two down. Battling here as he fouls it away. Payoff pitch. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. So it's two runs on four hits, no errors, and a couple left on. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Giants six, and the Dodgers nothing. Back here at Dodger Stadium, and now here is Chris Taylor. And the pitch. So every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. In the dirt. Slings to first, and that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Now you know, Boog, you often think of sliders more for that horizontal movement, but most of the good ones have both vertical depth and that horizontal movement, and that's what we saw right there. Good drop on the break and got him to swing over the top. Johnny DeLuca steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Fly out to center in his first at bat. And one and two. In the air, left field, down the line. And it's caught for the out. The batter number 11, shortstop. Miguel Rojas at the plate. He was a strikeout victim his first time. The why to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Looking sharp, just a strike away from five shutout innings. Next pitch okay. misses. Full count, three and two. Mookie Betts up next for the Dodgers. Swing and a slow roller. Crawford zips it across, and that is that. Dodgers down in order. They still find themselves down six. Welcome back. Start of the six. John Chomby with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Jack Peterson. Peterson. Left hand batter waits. Just missed. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Hit hard. That gets through. Up next to the Giants, the second baseman. Tyro Estrada, Tyro the next Giant to Estrada. hit. The 2-1. They say it went. Righty to the plate. Fights it off, you'll see another. Mm -hmm. 
Runner at first with no outs here. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And now one away. That cutter right there had just enough movement on it to get the swing and miss. It wasn't a great location by any means. That's typically a spot that hitters can handle. So I'd say he fooled him with just enough of that late action. One one now. Oh, two balls, one strike. That one laced to center and a base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. And now, Wilmer Flores. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. On the ground to short. Stops it on a slide. Fired to second. What a double play that was. Inning over. No runs on two base hits. No errors and one left on. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Giants six and the Dodgers nothing. Back here at Chavez Ravine. Well, we go bottom six. Mookie Betts will get us started. Mookie Swing and a miss. It's a ball and two strikes. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Here's a 2 2. Betts tries to hold up, appeal to first, no swing. Righty delivers. Fly ball to right. That one gets down for a hit. Around first and hustling for second. And he's there with a leadoff double. you got to get on your horse and get to that thing and get it back in because he's going to come barrel around first. He's going to put pressure on you. If you bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry, he's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. Here comes Gabe Kapler to the mound, and he's going to take the base. So Luke Jackson gets the call. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. The 1-1. Breaks his bat and pops it up. Flores calls it in, and there's one away. Now batting. The catcher. Well. And up to the plate is Will Smith. Runner leads away at second. There's the swing and a miss. Signs of movement in the Giants bullpen. Jacob Junis up and throwing for Gabe Kapler. One out and a runner at second. That's Caught him looking for the K. So he gets the call and picks up the strikeout looking. Sometimes with a good hitter at the plate, he'll be the one to get the benefit of the doubt if he lays off on a close pitch like that, but just not right there. Strike zone definitely expanded a little bit with two strikes. They say it went. One ball, two strikes. Out to short, Crawford. That's the inning. One left for L.A. Still up against a 6 nothing deficit. We go to the top of the seventh. Here's the catcher, Patrick Bailey. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. So they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, 
I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick because word will get around the league in a hurry. Activity in the bullpen for the Dodgers. Alex Vesia looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Ferguson getting loose as well. Next offering misses. And the count is three and one. And there's a strike. Three and two. The three two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Oh, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. Runner on at first with one gone, and now it's going to be Luis Matos. Here's a one one. Good eye right there. And here it comes. Oh, inside. Now fly ball to right center. Racing makes the catch. And there's two down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Victor Gonzalez on the pitch here. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. And there's ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. Oh, the game guy. plan that he's sticking to, he's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. So the batting order turns over, and now the first baseman, Lamont Wade Jr. Up the middle. They take the force out. That ends the frame. Giants leave a couple, but they're on top by a count of six to nothing. And welcome back. Here's the left fielder, David Peralta. Three balls, two strikes to count. Popped up. And that'll fall for a base hit. Didn't exactly square that one up, but sometimes now you don't have to. Totally baseman. tied up with that inside pitch. Got to it late and Ball deep in the guy. zone, but he got the bat on plane enough to fight it off the other way. And now, Miguel Vargas. And a weak ground ball to the left side. Goes to second oh, for one. Got. Over to first, but he beats it. Tough play right there. Didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. Had to rush it. But he got it off, and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. And a pitch. Next offering is outside. It's a good take. Here comes a pitch. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Oh, that slider wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he got him to chase. That's just a bad approach right there. Either he was looking for something else and got completely fooled, or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation. But, man, really expanded right there and didn't have a chance of making contact with that pitch. And the righty deals. That's a corner. Line drive and makes the play, and that's out number three. Back here in LA, now it's the DH, Jock Peterson. 
Jock Peterson. The lefty ready and a 1 1. And that one wrapped foul. The pitch. Fouls it off, still one and two. And a pitch. Hit in the air, right field. Puts the squeeze on that one, and there's one down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little now bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive Tyro. it. Here's Estrada. the second baseman, Tyro Estrada. The 1 1. Slice down the right side. And now the lefty. And down on strikes he goes. Snap throw. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Swings and misses. And it's one and two. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Alex Vesia looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Ferguson warming up as well. Swings and misses, struck him out. Giants down in order. They lead it though, 6 zip. Back here at the ballpark, ready for the bottom of the eighth. There's the shortstop at the play. Miguel Rojas. And a ball and two strikes. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the A.B. going. That misses. Two balls, two strikes. Hit hard on the ground to short. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. Mookie Betts steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Swings and misses. And there's two away. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Swing and a miss, and it's a full count now. This batter has to understand his job is to get on base however he can. If he gets hit by a pitch, if he walks, maybe even singles. But you want to get the heart of the order up to the plate. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So, a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. The next offering misses. Ball two. Good eye right there. And the 3 1. Swing and a miss. Now there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. And a pitch. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. And they get the out on Smith. And that will end the inning. We go to the ninth. Leading now the here ground. is Wilmer Flores. Yeah. 
Ball to strike. The pitch. That's and a there's a ball. Two balls, one strike. The 2 1. Outside corner, there's a strike. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Okay. Just a tough pitch to hit and not an easy one to throw either. Belton fires. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Kicks and deals. And he walked him. Thank you, mate. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Digging in. Patrick Bailey. A switch hitter batting right. Next offering is in for a strike. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. And he's gone for the fourth time tonight. Way out in front of that inside pitch there. Just exactly the opposite kind of approach that you want with two strikes. You want to let the ball travel. Make sure you recognize it. Try to shorten up so that you can at least put the ball in play clearly fooled but I think even more so you question the two strike approach that one clubbed out towards left center that'll be extra bases Flores round second on his way to third cut off now a throw home it's off the mark and he scores it's seven to nothing Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Put a great swing on that ball. Took the barrel right to it. Nice extension as well. 105 exit velocity. That tells you everything you need to know about that swing. The next pitch misses. Two and two. And he deals. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Runner at second here, one gone. And foul ball. The punch out there, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. And that'll bring up Brandon Crawford. The pitch. That smash towards center. Grabs it on the run. And that is that. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six, coming up. It's the Giants seven and the Dodgers nothing. New arm for the Giants, Tyler Rogers. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so Ladies he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Now pitching for San Francisco, number 71, Tyler Rogers. And here is J.D. Martinez. The designated hitter. It's the J.D. Martinez. The pitch. That misses the zone. Two balls and a strike. Action in the San Francisco bullpen. Taylor Rogers, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. Two and one to J.D. And a good eye there. Oh. 
And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. The pitch. Out to center. Matos drifts towards it. Squeezes it. One up, one down. So digging in, David Peralta. And a 1-1. And a rope into center field. Base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Now it's the second baseman, Miguel Vargas. And the right-hander deals. Just oh, missed. And a 2-1 on the way. Just Three off balls. the outside Great. part of the plate. Got Three. him looking. Three. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Chris Taylor steps to the plate for the Dodgers. The 1-1. One -one. And a swing and a miss. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Oh, when you win by seven runs, it's a real encouraging game all the way around. The hitters feel good about what they did in this one, but the pitchers also know that if they get into a little bit of a jam, they know the offense is very capable of putting up runs. Good job. This one ends 7-0. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Giants, seven runs on 12 hits, no errors, they left 12 men on base. For the Dodgers, no runs, five hits, no errors, they left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and eight minutes. Tonight's paid attendance, a sellout, 56,000. The Dodgers thank you for attending tonight's game. And as you leave Dodger Stadium, we remind you to please drive home safely.